A 15 year old assault suspect police say took his mom's car after beating her crashed and died during a police chase. The boy crashed in Collin County east of McKinney in Farmersville a short time after police say they used spike strips on the vehicle and police say the boy used a baseball bat on his mom when he attacked her at their apartment in Wiley. Fox Force Blake Hansen is in Wiley right now with more Blake. Now, Stephen Heather, police say an initial investigation revealed that the teen hit his 40 year old mother with a baseball bat, then fled. Tonight, she is hospitalized and in intensive care. Hey, I was in my kitchen and I heard a lady come out screaming, saying, Help! Help! Latanya Thompson was in her apartment near the corner of South 5th Street and Oak Street when she heard her next door neighbor yell for help. I ran out here and I saw her coming towards me covered in blood. She said, my son has beat me. He's hit me with a bat. He may have a gun. She didn't know. She was just very hysterical, very frightened, very scared for her life, pretty much. Thompson and other neighbors called 911. And shortly after, they say they saw the woman's 15-year-old son drive off. Police, on the way there, passed him. And as officers were approaching the scene, they observed the, the vehicle leaving. They need, tried to initiate a traffic stop, and the suspect fled from those officers. Sky 4 was overhead shortly after the chase ended. Police had pursued the suspect along Highway 78 into Farmersville, where the son crashed into a truck. Police had tried to stop him a short time before the wreck. Farmersville Police Department was able to deploy spike strips, and the suspect continued to drive. And at some point, he veered into oncoming traffic and struck a heavy duty truck. He was a good boy, you know, he really was a good kid. While neighbors say he was a good kid, they say police have been called out to the home recently. Police say they have had past encounters with the 15 year old, but didn't say much more. Police also haven't said whether the teen had a gun, as some neighbors heard from the mother. For now, it's a tragic series of events that's torn a family apart. My, my prayers go out to her to her mom and um she's gonna be hurt when she wakes up to realize she lost the son yeah we should point out that police say the driver of that heavy duty truck was not injured uh police have also not released the names of either the teen or his mother steve